So iOS 11 has finally officially arrived for all compatible devices. But what does this mean for all those unofficial third party screen recorders on iOS 10? Let's take a look. So, by the time you watch this video, iOS 11 will be officially available to all compatible devices. So when you go to the software update screen, you will get a new message here that says iOS is 11 and once you've installed it, it'll look something like this. But for the time being, my iPad Mini 4 is on iOS 10.3.3 and my iPhone 7 is on iOS 11. That means a radical change for screen recorders, the biggest one of which is that iOS 11 comes with its own built-in screen recorder which you will find on the settings screen by going to the control center followed by customized controls scrolling down and finding the screen recorder right there and if you add it to your control center swipe up from the bottom of the screen you will find the screen recording option here iOS 10 doesn't have that and for a long time screen recorders have not been available on Apple devices so the big question is do you switch to iOS 11 in order to get the built-in screen recorder and what impact does it have if you move from iOS 10? The news is big changes because all of the third party screen recorders that we used to use and have worked such as Airshow, Visorec and Evrecord no longer work on iOS 11. So let's quickly take a look at that problem. The first screen recorder we are going to test is Airshow because if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you will know that Airshow is my favorite third party screen recorder. We'll do iOS 10 first. To start a recording, simply tap on the recording option. Next step, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center. Airplay mirroring, we can see our iPad is there ready to receive the recording stream. And when I start it, we should see a blue bar at the top here to indicate that the recording has started. I can go back to my home screen, do a couple of swipes. We see the red recording bar at the top and to stop it, go back into the application, press stop. And with any luck, if I go to my Airshow video recording library, there is one video there which I can play after getting rid of these horrible adverts. And there we are. That's a recording all done and fine on iOS 10. Now let's try exactly the same thing on iOS 11. We go to record. Next step, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center, tap on screen mirroring. And as you can see, there is no option to stream it to my device. And that's because in iOS 11, I believe there has been developments in the AirPlay system, which is how all screen recorders used to work and it will just never appear, so you can never start a screen recording. So to confirm, Airshow 061 on iOS 11 doesn't work, and there are no plans to continue developing Airshow in a recording format from the developers. This stopped almost a year ago, so Airshow doesn't work on iOS 11. Now there is one small caveat to this. If you do have a very weird setup like I have here, where you have one device on iOS 11 and one device on iOS 10, you can stream the recording from your iPhone to your iPad like this. Go to next step. Both get the applications running ready to stream. And if I tap screen remirroring now, I can actually mirror my screen to my iPad like this. So that what will happen now is that it's recording the screen here on my iPhone 7, which is on iOS 11, and it's going to save it to my iPad. Really strange setup there, I do agree. But here's the swiping and me doing some actions. Now if I do stop on my iPad, tap on my iPad, this should be the screen recording right here on my iPhone 7 that you just saw. So if you did want to do it this way, you can do, but as I say, it's a really strange setup and you're going to need to have one device on iOS 10 and one device on iOS 11. And who is going to be in that situation other than right now as you see this recording? Visorec is very easy to demonstrate on iOS 11 and iOS 10. On iOS 10, if I start the recording, it will quickly jump into the home screen with the blue bar at the top or red bar to start the recording. As for iOS 11, if I start the recording, it will simply stop on this waiting loading animation and nothing will ever happen. So again, the new developments to AirPlay have broken Visorec. They are still in development Visorec, but they are very slow to respond to changes. They're often keeping their certificates protected. So whether they will update it for iOS 11, that remains to be seen. But Visorec doesn't work, that is confirmed. 
Next up is every record. What you have to do here is type in a recording name. To start the recording, press done. That should automatically confirm the start of a recording. As you can see, it's going through the process here on my iOS 10. Goes back to the home screen. As for iOS 11, well, unfortunately, adverts have gotten away once again here. So we will just type in that again. Tap done. Confirms that it wants to start recording and it just bombs out of the application, doesn't work. So once again, all three screen recorders here don't work on iOS 11, but they do work on iOS 10. Now, one last test I'm going to do is Vidi, which is the streaming service that uses a website through a VPN. So on iOS 10, it's the same principle in that you get the AirPlay mirroring. You have options for different quality here. So if I start the recording here, it should begin the recording. And when it's finished, it kind of refreshes the website. And then you can see the recording. You've got to download an application to get the video effectively there. So I've just done a quick recording. If we turn off AirPlay mirroring, what that should now do is if I refresh the list here, we should see a recording that was just completed. And there it is there. Not much to go with, just a very quick recording, but you can see that it worked on iOS 10. And on iOS 11, this also works. So we still have the same screen mirroring options. So now it should start the recording. If I go quickly back to my home screen, do a couple of swipes there, and then go back to the website, I should be able to stop mirroring and then refresh the list and we will see the recording here. So of all the screen recorders I've shown you, Vidi is the only one that works on both iOS 10 and iOS 11 and is continuing to be supported. But it is a different method of doing screen recordings because it doesn't use a application. And I've uh, quickly reviewed this in the past and I intend to review this again in the future uh, just to give you an idea of how it all works. But this is a paid application. So you now have a decision to make. Do you stay on iOS 10 where you can use those third party screen recorders such as Airshow, Evrecord, Visorec gives you a bit of choice or do you upgrade to iOS 11 where you are more or less fixed with the built in screen recorder which does have one or two niggles at the moment. This video isn't necessarily to give you advice on which way to go, it's just showing you the implications, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you decide to do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now. Oh, and if you're wondering why you're not seeing much of me in front of camera, I've got so much to do behind the camera at the moment, I just simply haven't got time. Normal service will be resumed in a few weeks.